Okay, for those of you who are going to be taking the Science Olympiad test, we're going to have uh, Mary Joseph here explain uh, what a cheat sheet and a binder is. So two of the tests are going to require what we call no cheats or cheat sheets, and one of the tests is going to require a binder. So Mary's going to hold it up and show us, and Mary, tell us what the cheat sheet is. So a cheat sheet is basically, uh, depending on what event it is, it's, you, you have one page, and then front and back, you can write information about your events. You should do information that's important that you can't remember, so you shouldn't be putting information that you know, because that would not be helping you. So, you should, so as you can see here, this is like the different things that are important for each event. So this is for heredity. This is for heredity, heredity. also. So it says like different types of things for heredity. You should put a lot of like models because when you're looking through an event, you don't have time to read all these texts. You need to look at models and then you have to quickly see them. And also, models. also on the PDFs that you're that are attached to this email, you're going to see that um, the rules are in there that tell you how many sheets you can bring, right, Mary? Yeah. Okay. So you just have to look at the event and see how many, like how many pages your cheat sheet can be. Okay, and these can be made up using what? Uh, uh, the best one to use is Publisher, but Docs is also like it's okay to use but publisher is like the ideal thing because okay. you can fit the most space and make the smallest font. okay so now the next uh, part that you're going to have to make up for uh, particularly for ornithology yeah. is going to be a binder so you have to bring a binder with you uh, a one two inch binder and you're going to uh, open up Mary and let's take a look and explain what they have in here this is a thermodynamics binder but typically in an ornithology binder you would have like a picture of the organism you'd also have the scientific names like common names, unique facts about them, and also just things like that. We're using the Google, like the spreadsheets, and that makes it really easy to just see everything for that specific organism. So you would have the organisms on one side, and then you'd have the topic. So, so what they're doing with the binder is they're looking at the PDFs to see what the test is going to be asking, and then they're going to be going online and just printing out sheets. They have to print out sheets, right? Yeah. So they have to print out sheets with some flip through with some type of information pertinent to the so this is right this is thermodynamics, thermodynamics so these are all physics problems a so, lot of things that you might be seeing on the test So someone told me that it's better to have like sheet protectors on because they reduce the friction so it makes it them easier oh, to okay. flip through but they are like a bit expensive sometimes depending on how many you get. So, so also in the binder you might want to put an old test that you've taken or that you found online. Any information is available you can put in here. So yeah, you still want to put, so for the binder you should just put important information about the organisms or if you're doing events like this you should do like the basic, not basic laws but laws that are really complex and difficult so that you can just remember them. Okay, so so Mary, you took this test last year. Ornithology? You took ornithology? Uh, I took fossils. For, oh, for my events? For the, you know, for the qualifying. Oh, yeah. you didn't take, oh, for the qualifying it was musculoskeletal. Yeah, ornithology and meteorology. Which is what it's going to be this year. And so, any advice you can give the sixth graders taking so, the test? I would give them, don't cram for the test because that'll just result in really low quality things. You have to know, you have to have some kind of organization system because you could be flipping through a lot of pages and then you pass the information that you needed. So I'd say if you're for the organisms, have tabs for each organism so that if they ask a question about like the black belly whistling swan, you could just, not swan duck, you could just flip to that and then you can like see the information about that bird. And so it's, it's a lot of information. So they have about uh, three or four weeks to study. Yeah. So they should just take it slowly, a little bit every night, right? Yeah, so, you, yeah, so uh, I also recommend having multiple people work on the binder. Uh, just make sure that they're doing work and they're not just like a part of it and then not doing anything. And so when it comes time to the test, they're each going to print out the same one. So they'll be using if it's they're making it collectively. Yeah. So if two or three people are making it, They'd make three copies, and then each one would take that into the test with them. Yeah, so also just don't be too stressed because that'll make you, like, forget.
forget things basically. So just you have to be calm when you take it. Now you've never been stressed for a test, oh, right? Of course not. And your emotions have never gotten the best of you for a never, test. Never, never. Not even at a uh, award ceremony. So never never at an award ceremony. Never. Okay, so we're all set then? Yes. Great. Thank you, Mary.